But what's fascinating is how this private phenomenon of color takes on cultural meaning. So there are a million examples of this. I'll just do a quick whistle stop tour. So just look at the way we organize our world through color. We have red states and blue states. We have green energy. We have black markets. We have white lies. Color becomes shorthand for complex social and political ideas. Even our moral frameworks become color-coded. You've got the white hat and the black hat in the old Westerns. You've got the white dove of peace. You have the red devil of temptation. And colors very commonly come to signal identity and allegiance. You have teams and uniforms that define us versus them by color. Movements adopt symbolic palettes. So the suffragettes wore white and green and violet. AIDS awareness uses red. Environmental causes green. You see rainbow flags at pride parades. You see orange worn by anti-gun violence advocates. So in this way, when we look around, we see that color comes to serve as a quick symbolic flag. Now, not surprisingly, there's nothing fundamental about these associations, and therefore, they aren't static. So in the 1800s, pink was considered a strong masculine color related to red. Blue was seen as delicate and feminine. These meanings flipped in the 20th century, and it had to do with shifts in fashion and marketing and cultural signaling. Color, like language, evolves, and political colors vary. So you've got red for the left in Europe, blue for conservatives in the UK, and it's reversed in the United States. What I recently read is that the colors in the United States, blue for liberals and red for conservatives, this got nailed down just around the year 2000 when the major television networks started using this as a visual shorthand for liberal and conservative. And that's how it got crystallized into public consciousness. I don't really know the history of this, but I suspect that in the decades of black and white newspapers, it was easier to use a donkey and an elephant to distinguish the parties. And only when color television became ubiquitous, did it make sense to introduce a quick color flag. 